Hi, welcome to day 21 of our 30 day yoga journey inwards. Today we feel we're just going to allow ourselves space and time to really relax and adjust and feel what is going on within. So I do recommend that today you have your blocks, a couple of cushions or a big pillow, whatever you've got handy, and a blankie. We really want to be able to set ourselves up to get comfortable in some of these poses. So bring them along so that we can do so. Get in your comfy clothes and let's get started. We're going to start today by coming onto our backs in reclined butterflies. So we're going to bring our feet together, allow our knees to drop open and we're just going to lay back on our mat. And just tune into the body, allow yourself to let go of any tension and just simply be here. Now this is a more yin style class, although it's going to be a shorter yin. So we're going to be holding the poses for a little longer than normal, or than usual, I should say. And we're just going to be really allowing ourselves space to feel what comes up within each pose. So you may already beginning, be beginning to feel some sensations going on in the body in this pose. And if you are, just noticing them. What are they saying to you? really tuning in and noticing where in the body the sensations are arising. As we continue to hold here, notice if there's any tension coming up. Can you breathe into that space where you feel tension and allow yourself a little bit more space to let go? taking the hands and just bring them on the outside of the legs and allowing yourself to help yourself bring the knees in together and then just walking the feet as wide as the mat and allow the knees to drop in on one another this is just going to be our counter posture here now because we've shifted when we shift from a yin pose that we've been holding for a long time they can be quite a swell of sensation going on, just notice if that's happening for you. And if not, that's okay too. Just building some awareness around what is happening in our bodies. Walking the knees back under the hip, uh, heel, feet back under the knees, sorry, and rolling to one side to lift up through sit. 
Now from here we're going to come into a tabletop position. So our knees are under our hips, our hands are under our shoulders and we're going to extend that right leg back and then step that right foot up to the outside of the right hand for drag and pose. So our hips are sinking down towards the mat. You might walk that back knee out a little and we're long through the spine. And breathe in here for a few rounds of breath. Now if you feel like you'd like to go a little deeper today, you might find those blocks and bring them in underneath the elbows and bring the elbows down onto the blocks. So that right foot can begin to roll to the pinky toe side and you drop that right knee open to the side a little bit more. If that feels like a little much though, or at any point, if any posture feels like you've come in a little too far, then just come back to where you were. Come out of, a little, out of it a little bit. So if coming to the elbows feels too much, you might come back to the hands, just tuning into your body, seeing what it needs, and noticing how it feels. Now from here you can stay on those blocks or if you want to go a little deeper still you might move those blocks out of the way and come down bringing the elbows onto the mat. What can you feel within the body here? Is there anywhere that you want to send the breath to to let go of the tension? Just notice, feel, breathe. Now if you've chosen to come down into your elbows, you might bring the, bring the hands down onto the mat, lifting up and rolling back onto that foot. Taking a round of breath here, everybody meeting in your dragon pose. Before sinking the hips back and walking that back, right, right foot back. Countering this by just sinking the hips back over the heels in a child's pose and bringing the arms down alongside you. Lifting the head off the mat, coming back through a tabletop position before sending the left leg back and then stepping the left foot to the outside of the left hand. And again, once you've found your foot in, you might walk that right knee back a little and taking a few rounds of breath here in dragon pose.
Then again, option to bring those blocks in underneath the hands so you can drop down onto the elbows. And if you want to roll to that pinky toe side of the left foot, dropping that left knee open a little more, then option to do so. Option to stay on the blocks or remove the blocks out of the way, bringing the elbows down to the mat. Now just noticing if it feels any different on this side to what it did on the right side. There might be a difference or there might not and there's no right or wrong, it's just simply building that awareness, feeling into the body and noticing what it's saying. And if you've come down onto your elbows, you might walk back up onto those hands, bringing that right foot, uh, left foot back to the mat, pausing here for a breath or two, before beginning to sink those hips back over that right knee, stepping that left leg back to meet the right, sinking down for your child's pose. Walking the hands beside the knee, lifting up. And we're going to turn on our long side of the mat now. Just because we want a little bit of support under our knees. And you can take your blankie and you can prop it alongside for a little extra support if you would like that. If not, then that's okay. You don't have to. It's just there if you want it. We're going to come into frog position. So we're going to come up onto our knees having our knees under our hips to begin with. We're going to bring our hands down in front of us. So almost like we're in tabletop position. But then from here, we're going to begin to walk our knees out wide, allowing them to open up. So we're kind of creating almost like a V shape with our legs. Our hips are in line with our knees here. And then you can come onto your elbows and we're just going to simply breathe here. Our feet are parallel with that long side of the mat, so our feet are flexed as we hold here. And as the longer we hold, you may feel like you might like to move in a little bit deeper, and you can do so, just adjust as we hold. Noticing what you're feeling here. Where are you feeling this within the body? Are the sensations changing as we hold it here? 
becoming a witness to what is going on within. Five more rounds of breath here in this posture. Now to come out of this pose, we're gonna simply begin to bring our chest forward over our arms and come down onto the mat on our bellies. Walking your knees together and then lifting up and coming back to sit. From here we're gonna bring our feet out in front of us and they're gonna be about hips distance apart. And I'm just gonna turn to the side a little so you can see better. And we're gonna drop our knees to the left side. So our left uh, so all of the foot is coming to about where our right knee is and we're going to find our props so our pillows and our blankies and we're just going to lay our pillows alongside the left hip we're going to take the blankie over the top too and then from here we're going to turn our torso over the over that left hip lift up open up through the chest and then exhale fold forward bringing the body down onto those props. Now you can take your left ear down onto them or you can take your right ear down for a little bit stronger um, hold here. But just depending on where you want to feel it is where you should go to. really just allowing the body space to relax here. Now come out of this posture, ground down into the hands, begin to lift up through the chest, walking the hands back towards you and coming through centre. Bringing the feet back to the, in front of you and then dropping them to the right side this time. Bringing those props in beside that right hip, turning the torso over the props and then walking the hands forward and allowing either the right or left ear to come down onto the props.
and allowing yourself the space to just tune in to let go and to notice what is going on within. And the ground, come out of it, ground down into those hands, lifting the chest, turning back towards centre and coming to sit on your bottom. Moving those props out of the way so you can lower down onto your back for Shavasana. So taking those feet long, you might even take your blankie and wrap yourself up in it for your Shavasana today. I'm going to because I'm cold, <laughs> lengthening the legs out long and then bringing the arms down beside you, palms faced up and just allowing yourself the space to relax and simply be. Beginning to lengthen the inhales and the exhales, taking some movements through the fingers and toes. Allow that movement to get bigger through the wrists and the ankles. Before stretching the arms overhead for a full body stretch, and then bending the knees and rolling to the right side. Just pausing here for a moment, finding space for gratitude for your day. And then when you're ready, finding your way up to sit. Day 21 feel. I hope you are able to tune inwards 
to feel what was going on in your body. Thank you for joining me today. Bring the palms together in front of the heart, sending love and positive energy to all beings everywhere. Namaste. If you liked this class and you know what to do, hit the like button. Subscribe if you want to see more videos like this and hit the notification bell to see when notifications drop. And I will see you for day 22 tomorrow. Bye.